Thank you. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, our entrance hymn said that we have to feast and give thanksgiving to the Lord and celebrate His love. But sometimes we fail to love one another. We fail to love God. And for all these times, we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Thank you. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Habakkuk. How long, O Lord? I cry for help, but you do not listen. I cry out to you, violence, but you do not intervene. Why do you let me see ruin? Why must I look at misery? Destruction and violence are before me. There is a strife and clamorous discord. Then the Lord answered me and said, 
write down the vision clearly upon the tablets so that one can read it readily. For the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment, and will not disappoint. If it delays, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not be late. The rust one has no integrity, but the just one, because of his faith, shall live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord nor of me, a prisoner for his sake. But bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. Take as your norm 
the sound words that you heard from me, in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard this rich trust with the help of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. The Word of the Lord. Please all stand to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. please the word of the lord remains forever this is the word that has been proclaimed to you The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, prepare something for me to eat, put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink? You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Pwede bang pakibate ang nakapaligid sa iyo ng magandang umaga para sa iyo? Morning. Okay. Salamat sa ating Panginoon. We would like to thank the Lord for a beautiful Sunday morning full of light and full of hope. As we begin our week, the 27th week in ordinary time, the Lord has been so gracious and so generous to us. This is the first Sunday of October. Diba? Hindi na malayan, tapos na pala ang September. No? October na. Napakabilis. And in this first Sunday of October, we are again blessed by the Lord with so much no, in our hands and in our hearts. Our families, our friends, the gift of work, the blessings of faith, and the blessings of the Holy Eucharist. No? Salamat po sa ating Panginoon. No? Pero sa ating pagsasalamat sa ating Panginoon, pag minsan tayo ay binabagyo pa rin ng mga problema. Tama ba ako? No? Kahit misa ka ng misa, may problema ka. Tama? O pakitaas ang may problema ngayon. Ang dami. Kaya nga kayo nagmimisa, di ba? Sino dito ang may problema sa pera? Wala? Ulitin ko, sino may problema sa pera? Pag medyo malaki yung pera, kailangan dalawang kamay. Okay. 
Really, pag minsan sabihin mo may problema sa pera, am I right? You have a problem with money, then you have a problem in the family, correct? Then you have a problem in the work, am I right? And then you have a problem with your health. Sino lahat meron nun? And sometimes you will say, Lord, I am helpless. Where will I run? To whom will I run? I have all of these problems. And you will only run to the Lord. Pera, asawa, anak, trabaho, may sakit ka pa, may sakit pa ang anak mo, may sakit pa yung isa, may sakit pa yung isa, may sakit pa yung nangungupahan, yung bahay, maririmata. Parang sabihin mo, Lord, saan ako tatakbo? Ang gulo pa. Napakadilim pa. Saan ako tatakbo? And I will only run to you. Prophet Habakkuk, in the first reading of today, has the same feeling. He went back to the Lord. And he was telling the Lord, Lord, it is full of darkness. Ang daming kaguluhan. Ang daming daming karahasan. There is, this, there is this connection. There is discord. What will I do? And now, Prophet Habakkuk is going to the Lord and he said, I cry out to you and you did not hear me. Hmm. Sinusumbat ang paang Panginoon. Diba? Nagdadasal ako pero hindi mo ako binapakinggan. Ano pa? Hindi mo ako, hindi mo ako pinapakinggan, hindi mo ako naririnig, hindi mo ako sinasagot. Ganon si Prophet, Prophet Habakkuk. Masasabi ba nating si Prophet Habakkuk ay walang pananampalataya? I don't think so. Because if Prophet Habakkuk has no faith, then he would not run to the Lord. But at this point, when he is full of this misery, this discord and problems in his life, I run to the Lord. And sometimes tayo ganun din. Galit tayo sa Panginoon. Susumbatan natin yung ating Panginoon sa sabi, Lord, but hindi mo ako sinasagot? Akala ako mabait ka. Ngayon, hindi. Bakit hindi mo ako sinasagot sa aking mga kahilingan? Ang dami-dami kong problema. And what happened? The Lord answered Habakkuk. And the Lord said, I will keep my promise to you. Wait. That promise will come in my time. I like to repeat that. Nagdadasal tayo. But the Lord is telling us like the prophet Habakkuk. I will keep my promise to you. My promise will be there. And I will never forget you. Just wait. Be patient. And it will come in my time. Wow. That is faith. A faith that shines during times of helplessness. Kung tayo ay walang-wala na, kung tayo ay wala ng kakayahan, hindi na kaya ng ating kapasidad, kaalaman, ng ating mga kamay, ang problema sa ating buhay, meron magluluningning ang lakas ng pananampalataya. I like to repeat that again. During times of helplessness and vulnerability, at sabihin mong, wala na akong magawa, Lord. That point, there is this faith that will shine. And in that faith, you will hold on. At dun kakakapit in the Lord. Habakkuk did that. And he waited because he has that faith in God. The apostles in the gospel for today asked Jesus Christ, 
increase our faith. Diba? Why? Before this pericope in the gospel, the apostles were sent in a mission. At bumalik sila kay Lord. Siguro punong-puno rin sila ng problema. Sabi, nakakapagod pala mag-mission. Then they went back. Anong sabi nila kay Lord? Increase our faith. Parang hindi namin kaya lahat ng problema. There are persecutions, there are many problems. Please increase our faith. Then look at what Jesus said to the apostles. Anong sabi ni Jesus? If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, uh-uh, ang mustard seed po maliit. The size of a mustard seed. You can tell to a mulberry tree or to a sycamore tree, be planted from here to there. Wow, and it will happen. Faith is not based on size. Maliit man yan o malaki, it's not based on size. Our faith should always be based on the genuineness, on the depth, sa lalim, sa pagiging totoo ng ating pananampalataya. And if you have that faith, totoo, ganap, malalim ang pananampalataya, you can tell to the tree, be planted from that place to the sea. And it will happen. That is faith. Ang pananampalataya, kahit gano'ng kaliit, pero pag sincere, pag totoo, may mga hiwagang nangyayari sa ating buhay. Kahit you are doubting, and yet you are there, like that of Habakkuk, something will happen. Miracles can really happen. Just have that deep, sincere, and genuine faith to God. Okay po. That is why faith should be lived. Ang pananampalataya ay dapat sinasabuhay. Ano ho? Hindi lang yan sinasabi na, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Apostolic Catholic Church. It's not only that. But faith should be lived. Sinasabuhay. Kung ano yung pananampalataya mo, kung ano yung pananalig mo, sinasabuhay mo. Siya ang Diyos ng pag-ibig, isabuhay mo pag-ibig. Siya ang Diyos ng pagpapatawad, abay, magpatawad ho tayo. If He is the Lord of care and mercy, then we show mercy habag at malasakit sa iba. If He is the Lord of care, if He is the Lord of nourishment, then we do the same in our life. Live our faith. And not only that, work and serve based on faith. Magsilbi ho, base sa pananampalataya. Kulang ang pananalig natin kung hindi po tayo nagsisilbi sa iba. Ulitin ko ha. Kahit sabihin mo ngayon sa misa, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. But after the Mass, you don't live and serve with your faith and from your faith. Then it is lacking. Magpatawad. Tumulong sa mga matatanda, sa mga bata. Not coming from your own merits, but coming from your faith. Our service here in the Mass, from our lay ministers to the choir, to the lectors, they're not receiving anything. But they're coming from their faith. I hope. <laughs> not because they will be shown or they are seen by people. I hope. But I serve because I am coming from my faith in God. And if God is a God of love, then I love whom God loves. I serve with love and coming from love. That is faith. Diba? Yun yung faith. Kaya nga, lahat po dapat ng ginagawa natin, even those who are serving in the church, you should always recognize what the servant 
tells us at the last part of the gospel. He says, We are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. Hmm. Diba? Hindi to galing sa amin. Ang lahat ng ginagawa namin, galing yan sa ating Panginoon. And we have received the reward. And the reward is our mission of serving in the church. Don't expect rewards if you serve. Because you have received your reward. And your reward is that shining faith given to us by God. God is the source of faith, not us. Without Him, we will not have this shining faith in us. Thank you, Lord, for that faith that amidst our helplessness, faith would truly shine. Grabe no, yung pananampalataya. Alam nyo, nakita ko yan and it is very, very evident dun sa mga namatayan. Yung mga namatayan dito, you're helpless, but you will only run to God. I have a cousin, an, an nephew sa cousin side. They have this child, their only child, their only child who is suffering of leukemia. At the age of three, Jolly, her name, was diagnosed of leukemia. Sila ay in and out of the hospital. They're so helpless. Sabi, Father, anong gagawin namin? At the age of four, when I went to the hospital, he was in critical condition. It was so painful to lose a child. I can see the pain in this young couple to lose a child. At naghihingalo yung bata. At sabi ng nanay, Ana, sige na, balik ka na kay Papa Jesus. Okay na kami ni Papa dito. Sige na. You know what happened? The child with this weak and helpless condition started praying the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven. And before she ends the prayer of her father, she closed her eyes and she died. And the mother said, Lord, pabalik na po sa'yo si Jolly. Please accept him. In times of helplessness and vulnerability, akala natin puro dilim, no. Akala natin kamatayan? No. But at that point, what is shining is faith. So abundant, given to us by God. We all stand and let our faith shine as we profess it. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. 
and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us ask the Lord to increase our faith and stir into flame the gift of the Holy Spirit so that we may live as His faithful servants. In trust, we pray to Him, Lord, increase our faith. Lord, increase our faith. May our religious and political leaders see themselves as servants entrusted by the Lord with the care of His people and so serve them with care. May they not get discouraged when their work is not fully appreciated, but rely on the goodness of the Lord. We pray. Lord, increase our faith. May we thank the Lord for all His blessings and show our gratefulness by sharing our blessings with others. We pray. Lord, increase our faith. May we stir into flame God's gift of the Spirit and give witness to our faith by working for peace and solidarity in our family and in our community, we pray. Lord, increase our faith. May the Lord prosper the works of our hands, give us a bountiful harvest, comfort the sick and the dying, and banish kidnapping and terrorism in our land, we pray. Lord, increase our faith. May the Almighty Father continue to protect and bless our mall patrons, televiewers and their families and may the merciful lord receive and bless all prayer intentions and requests entrusted to our chapel we pray lord, lord increase our faith may our beloved departed now experience the joy of god's banquet in heaven which he has prepared for his good and faithful servants we pray lord increase our faith let us pray in silence for our own personal intentions. We pray. Lord, increase our faith. Hear our petitions, loving Father, and deepen our faith as we continue our journey on to your kingdom. Make our faith strong, our humility deep, and our love sincere. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing as the gifts are presented to the altar.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you have loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Archbishop, Broderick, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Carolina and Lualhati, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Camillus, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Di ba ho, marami sa atin nagpapadasal. Recently, may nagpadasal sabi sa akin, Father, yung anak ko, si Kati, pagdasal mo. That is faith in times of our helplessness. And the best prayer there is the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sincere sign of peace. Peace with you.
Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to partake in this meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Please stand. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. The Acts Catholic Prayer Community invites everyone to its prayer meetings every Wednesday at 7 in the evening here at the Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord. This Wednesday, we will have an empowerment mass with Father Domi Guzman as priest presider. This is in preparation for upcoming Jesus Encounter Seminar on October 19, Saturday, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Buklot ng Pag-ibig Center, 97 Baleta Drive Extension, Quezon City. Admission is free with lunch and two snack meals. In this regard, we invite everyone to join us in an encounter with the living God and a deeper relationship with Christ. Thank you. Please all stand. Dadagdagan ko lang yung announcement. On October 19, that is Jesus Encounter Seminar. It's really for free. And this is a good occasion for us to deepen our faith in God. If our prayer a while ago is, Lord, increase our faith. This is a good opportunity for us. We invite all of you, especially the youth. Okay. Hindi lang yung mga may problema, ha? Lahat tayo. And I think that is a good opportunity para tayo ay makipagdaupang palad sa ating Panginoon. Offer this day, mark that day in your calendar, October 19. Okay po? Sino po dito ang pupunta? Pakitaas ang kamay. Pag-isipan yung mabuti. Would like to ask for God's presence and healing for all the problems that we have. For God is a God of love, so generous that He will be with us all the way. Place your hands on top of your heart. Panginoon, Marami salamat sa buhay na binigay mo sa amin. Buhay na napakaganda dahil ikaw ang nagbigay. Marami salamat sa pamilya, sa mga nagmamahal na napakaganda dahil ikaw ang pinagmulan. Sa mga pagkakataon, kami ay napanghihinaan ng loob. Sa mga pagkakataon, kami ay nanghihina at wala nang matakbuhan. Panginoon, kami itatakbo muli sa iyo. Palalimin mo ang aming pananampalataya sa iyo. At sa iyo kami hahawa. Sa iyo kami hihimlay. Sa iyo kami kakapi. Lalong-lalo na ngayon sa aming mga kapatid na may sakit. Heal them, O Lord. Bigyan niyo po sila ng kalusugan sa katawan at pananampalataya. Sa mga relasyon, sa mga may galit, sa pamilya na nagkakawatak-watak, Panginoon, pagbuklorin mo kami. Nawa, marunong kami magpatawad at tumanggap muli dahil sa iyong we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go, my dear friends, and carry the gift of faith in our life. Thanks be to God.